Uh, sorry, uh, I, I, I didn't, I didn't expect for so many these different people who have reached out to me in regards to my uh, original vlog, or at least the latest vlog about some of the challenges. Um, same with factual. One of the, I guess there's one of the hot topics out there right now, and there's been some back and forth going, you know, on this particular topic. Uh, to stay very factual, cameras cameras in our community uh there are rumors that you know there are 60 70 75 80 however many number of cameras that we have within our community um i can't count them all i don't know exactly how many we have but my understanding is it is somewhere between just like the numbers i've mentioned it's more than 60 less than 75. that's my guess now I did have a conversation with one of the board members prior, uh, and had uh, the individual had a very you know detailed answer for me. I mean, while he didn't give me the exact count because I, you know, I'm not going to quiz him. I mean, he was just was just having a conversation around like you know, there's traditionally three to a pole, meaning three different angles and so forth. You know, is it too many? I don't know. Does it feel like invasion of privacy? You know, I. It, it's it's a balance, right? I think while surveillance and security is important, I think the question lies who gets to see that footage. Now, um, you know there has been uh, there has been publications where they have observed certain vehicles that have been in our community that's not registered, and they actually even have precise count of vehicle by license of how many times they have entered our community. From what I gather, it's definitely for the year 2023. So for those individuals that do not live here, if they come in and out, they know who you are. Or at least they know which vehicle that it is. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? I don't know. Uh, for me personally, you know, I, I feel like it's a little bit intrusive with 60 plus cameras in our community. Um, now, on the flip side, I think either late last year in 2023 or early this year, there were an incident. There was an incident. Uh, there was an incident supposedly of either some type of burglary or, or you know, someone broke into a house. I don't know at what time. I don't know all the details. If the forum's still open, you can get the gist of it. Or even you can go out to the Irvine Police Report. I think it is out there. Uh, but I don't have the details. But supposedly, our surveillance did facilitate um, some of the... Um, investigation that has gone on uh, in fact i think they captured the vehicle um maybe not the exact license plate which is surprising but you know the vehicle that was used during this particular incident you know look there's always a plus and minuses to surveillance cameras but again who has access to this footage that's question number one that i would be concerned about two where are the cameras placed of course, they're going to be more in the public area for, say, uh, hopefully it's not so intrusive where it's in, like, the pool area aimed at the shower or things like that. I just don't know. I have not been there as of late. My daughter has gone, my daughter who's uh, six, 17, turning seven, who turned 17, has gone to the pool with her and her friends. And I'm not sure if they notice it or not, but hopefully they're not aiming at, you know, our, our, our residents in that fashion, right? More so the gate area or, 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 or things like, I just don't know. It, it wouldn't hurt the community to actually list out where the cameras are, especially if you live here. What's so, I don't think it's a bad idea to know exactly where you're located and how many, and, and actually disclose how many cameras there are. I, I don't know, but I know, you know, we do have a lot of cameras. There are a lot of, there's definitely two sides to this camp of who likes and who doesn't. Me, you know, I think we should have cameras, but I don't know what is the right number. Um, you know, 60, 70, eight, I, I don't know. I don't know what that right number is. I do believe like in the core areas, main high traffic areas, that should be. Now there's also rumors that, um, you know, there are, because a lot of us have our own personal cameras, like ring cameras, like I own ring cameras, um, has been asked in the past, can you share your footage due to certain X, Y, Z reasons, right? Um, that's at your that's at your discretion. That's at every uh, you know homeowners or, or, or residents' discretion of do they want to share that footage. It's all up to them. Me, I have nothing to hide. 
when it was requested upon me doing some type of uh, research, I had no problems in doing it. But, you know, to, to make it clear, the steps were, they asked me, hey, can you review it yourself first? Do you see X, Y, Z event happening, right? They requested, can you look at it first? Then they said, hey, if you see something, then can you share that footage? That was the sequence that was requested to me. I, and I, and I'm, I have no problems in it. I, I don't believe that a lot of individuals would. But as for community cameras, what is that right number? I don't have an answer for you, nor am I going to pose a, a correct answer because that's determined by the community our, ourselves, right? But, you know, to even just throw them up, you know, at the volume that it is, that is slightly questionable, um, you know, from my perspective. But ultimately, the question is who gets to see it? Who really gets to see it? And and are there are there legal documents that documents who actually gets to see it? Because this day and age, we need legal documents to fortify and, and, and truly prove out who gets access to what. Um, you know, do I believe that HOA members should have full access of it? No, because at the end of the day, they are our neighbors too. I don't want them to know every move that I have, especially with like 60, 70 cameras around, you know, and I don't want them to have, uh, you know, just because they're board members, I don't think they should also have free access to whatever footage is they might want to publish. Now, as a, as a collaborative group, yes, not as an individual. I'm not saying that has happened, but there has been circulated videos or footages or even images that's floated around that, you know, it seems like it came from one of those cameras uh, in however way. But that's something for the residents here to, to, to really speak up and express their concerns or, you know, whatever their, their opinions. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, in fact, again, our board meets next Tuesday. Go on, sign on to the Zoom call. Go and listen. Go and participate. At minimum, just be an observer so, so that you're aware, right? As the things that I'm promoting and others are starting to promote. The board has always promoted that participate, participate, participate. But our participation rate uh, is pretty low. But So I would encourage everyone that, that watches this video, no matter what side you're on, if you're on a side, go and sign in and, and just listen. Um, and if you have questions, ask those questions because God knows when I'm on, I have no doubt that I will ask some questions. You know, uh, just be, be respectful, like they said, and also be respectful of that time. But there are concerns out there and camera is one of those hot topics. I will, I will continue to go down through the hot topics. I will, um, because, you know, some people, appreciate that I'm sharing this and, and, and giving some insight about what's happening. I'm not the rumor mill. I am just stating the facts. Um, so with that being said, um, stay tuned. Oh, subscribe. Take care. Peace out.